What is good boss nation? Welcome to a brand new episode of Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. Now I have a special episode lined up for you guys. We're gonna do it all. Like we're gonna open packs. We're gonna make team upgrades. We're gonna play games online. Now, as you guys saw the offense and the defense, we are currently standing with a record of 5-1 and one as we are set to play in week number 7. But first, I was like, you know what? Last time out when we opened up legendary packs, they were absolutely marvelous. I mean, we got so many gems. So I was like, let me go ahead and open up some more. In total, we got 12 legendary fantasy packs. And of course, the bundle topper consists of an 86+. plus. So we're gonna save that for the finale. Round number two, I don't see anything special. We're jumping into the final round. Where are the gems? As we get a heavyweight pool and Willie McGinnis, I decided to go ahead and scoop them up. Now we're gonna skip further down as we're jumping into round number three. AJ Boye. I had to scoop them up here. Another round three gem. We get Sean Taylor, Bruce Smith, and Travis Frederick. I decided to go ahead and pick up Travis. And that was basically the highlights of most of the fantasy packs. Those were the good pulls. Here is the bundle topper. Who will we get? 90 overall pool. I decided to go ahead and take all those cards that we pulled and toss them up on the auction house because we need as many coins as possible to make these upgrades that we're about to do. First things first, our backup free safety, Tyron Matthew, he is gone. Instead, I'm bringing in Kevin Byer. Now, Kevin, he's an amazing free safety. He will be the backup of Sean Taylor, but I'm going to try my best to get him out there on the field as much as possible. Next up, our backup right end is Bruce Smith. His time on our team has come to an end. I mean, he's been on our team for like months. Jabal Sheard for the Indianapolis Colts will be replacing Bruce Smith as our backup right end. That is it for the defense. Next up, we got some moves on the offense. Starting things off with Rodney Hudson. I told you guys I was going to make more adjustments to the offensive line. Now, Travis Frederick, if you didn't know, he is battling like a rare disease, I believe. So, much respect to him. Hopefully, he beats that very soon. I decided, you know, out of my respect to go out there and get him. Now, I decided to also bump down Alvin Kamara and James Conner. So, James will be running back number two. Alvin Kamara will be running back number three, which means we need to go out there and bring in a starting running back. And that is going to be Ladanian Tomlinson. You guys see the stats? Why not? Let's go ahead and try him out. Our final two moves of the day will be specifically at the wide receiver spot. Now, Julio has also been on our team for a while, so he is being cut to replace him. I'm going to go out there and bring in this Alshon Jeffrey card. So, Alshon will be playing wide receiver number four. And what I'm going to do is also cut Steve Smith. So, cutting Steve Smith is going to open up a spot at the wide receiver three spot. And I moved Odell Beckham in that position, which means now wide receiver number one is wide open. And I did notice a comment where someone said, I know this card is old on to, but I'm begging you to get the primetime performer, Mike Evans. Now, I know you guys are seeing me get the power up version. Well, what I'm going to do is obviously power him up completely so that he gets the primetime performer added as well. So you guys see, in order to get him to tier number 11, we need to add in the primetime performer. Now, I don't have that card. If you don't have it, you could spend 4,000 training points and it will add that card into a power up. So as you guys see now, I also added sprinter, elite route specialist, and go deep chemistry. So Mike Evans has completely been powered up and that was the final move of the day. Let's go ahead and jump into week number seven. If you guys enjoyed all those moves, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, down in the description, there's a link to the full playlist. So if you missed any episode, be sure to click on that and just, you know, sit back, enjoy episodes, catch up on things. As you guys see, my opponent had a stacked team. And he already goes up on the scoreboard, but quickly we came back 
and tie things up with LaDainian Tomlinson. To start off the second half, we do have the ball here first. And I went straight back to LT. Moments later, face with a third down. Yo, I can't do it anymore. I really can't with the inaccuracy of Cam Newton because that was a wide open Jordan Reed. Instead of taking a seven, we had to settle with the three. We need a big time stop by our defense. Night Train Lane comes up with a big interception here and we are already in our opponent's 23 yard line. Come on Cam, we need you to step up as he finds Mike Evans on a slant route. And look at this. So uh, please take a look at this. Our opponent has already had enough here in week number seven, which means now all we need is one more win. If we could win in week number eight, then we will be advancing to the playoffs. You guys see my opponent's top three players. He has a really good team. There goes my top three players. And we got the ball here first to start things off a wide open Calvin Johnson. What is he bringing a blitz here? I think he thinks I'm running the ball here. You know what? Let's send Mike Evans on a streak. No one was even around him. My opponent thought I was running the ball. I came out here, passed it to Mike, and guess what? The connection to your peer has been lost, AKA our opponent quit. So now we have clinched a playoff berth, and let's go ahead and jump right into that. We have officially clinched a playoff berth. Here is the wild card round, and I'm not gonna lie, week seven and eight, those games felt like they were five minutes long. And that's why I was like, you know what? I have to make this video longer. There's no way I could have ended the video at six minutes long. But right here, man, once again, the inaccuracy of Cam Newton continues. We had a wide open Calvin Johnson, but unfortunately, we couldn't get the ball to him. But LT puts us at the one. Moments later, I went right back to him, and LT gets tackled into the end zone for the first touchdown of the day. We get to see my opponent here. Let's see what type of a drive he's going to put together. Did you see how I read this play? As I was controlling Adrian Amos. Let's go. What an interception. And guess what? Again, what can I do here? I need longer gameplay. Stop quitting, guys. Now, once again, you guys saw our opponent quit. So now we are officially in the divisional round. You know what? Let's kick this off as well. Four games in one episode. The divisional round has officially kicked off you see my top three players and my oh my his top three players he has the fully boosted up ricky williams he has the mop master ryan shazier look what happens on this play i'm absolutely sick to my stomach man oh man i have a bad feeling about this Oh my lord, chill. Third and 12. I had no time to get rid of the ball. After a punt, my opponent, as you guys see, is all the way at my 13. Oh, and he's dancing early. Yo, aren't those spin moves like overly aggressive or is it just me? After being down 14 and nothing, I thought I had Mike Evans on a slant. But he got popped as soon as he was trying to make the catch. One minute left. Finally! We stopped my opponent. Deion Sanders with an incredible interception. Hopefully, this could be the turning point. Now, unfortunately, on his drive, I had to settle for a field goal. And even this didn't go in. There must be a magnet. In the end zone, we can't get in at all. Here in the final play of the half, a wide open Randy. And of course, he had to do that dance. He had to do it, huh? 21 to nothing. Look at this. I was trying to go to Alvin Kamara, but Cam Newton had other plans in mind. Absolutely sick to my stomach. We got destroyed in this game. 
in a divisional round, unfortunately, we are eliminated. I'm not gonna lie, I played completely terrible. You guys see the final score, 31 to nothing. My opponent's defense was absolutely insane. Cam Newton, unfortunately for me, didn't help. I also played bad, so I didn't help Cam Newton's case. But look at this, they dropped two brand new primetime performers, including Rashad Jones and Julian Edelman. I decided to go ahead and open up some gold premium packs, and look what happened. As you guys see, your boy pulled Rashad Jones, even though we just got eliminated from the divisional round. I was completely upset because I played absolutely terrible. We were rewarded with a blessing, and that is this limited pool primetime performer Rashad Jones. Now, I already have Adrian Amos in this position, so what I'm gonna do is actually sell Rashad Jones. Also, tomorrow, which is Friday, the Thanksgiving promo is kicking off. So on my next episode, we will feature that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Continue being amazing, people. I'm signing out.